Hi guys, it's Liz with Liz TV and I'm here for another week to inspire you to live a life of health, happiness, and abundance and feel sexy doing it. And today I really got to review the topic of stress. Do you know that statistically about 99% of all illnesses are stress-related causes? I want you to think about that for a second. That means 1% of illnesses are not caused from some form of stress. That's pretty huge. So take that in. I want you to think about your life and look at how stressed you are in this very moment. So on a scale of one to 10, one being no stress whatsoever, everything is great. 10 being, oh my gosh, I am so stressed out. I want you to write down that number for you. And maybe you put it in your phone, you keep it on a, a post-it note, but that's your focal point that I want you to really make sure that you're tapping into. What number are you on the stress scale? And are you paying attention to that number or are you just letting things pile one on top of the other so that the stress keeps getting more and more daunting and, and heavier and heavier and eventually is gonna affect your health. So I really, this is a precautionary uh, Liz bit for you. I really want you to look at your life and how you're handling stress where that management point is for you, but first and foremost to bring the awareness around your stress. So journaling this week, you're just gonna tap into your relationship with stress. That's step number one. All you have to do is look at your life in the relative form of how stress is impacting your life. So again, that first step is that one to 10 scale. What number are you on a one to 10 scale when it comes to stress? If you're above a five, you need to pay serious attention to ways that you can reduce stress in your life. And for me, I feel like the number one thing to do is to really acknowledge the stressors in your life. So after you write down the number of uh, on your stress scale, one to 10, I want you to write down the top five things that have you the most stressed out. What are the things that are really troubling you that are on your mind that are maybe creating uh, more intensity or tension in your body and I want you to write those down next and then after that I want you to pick one thing that you can do this very day to start to work on how stress is affecting your life okay so a couple options you can sleep more that may be a great option for you if it's really sound sleep it may just be that your body is exhausted and needs another hour of sleep so give yourself that gift it could be doing breath work or meditative practice and implementing a very simple form of that. I've given you a video on Liz TV called the 557 breath. It's one of the best ways that you can really let that stress come down and let your nervous system have a break. Maybe it's eating better tomorrow or today if it's early enough in your day that you can still make good choices. But that's a great option, a way to lessen the impact of stress in your life just by making really solid food choices. And then in combo of that, what kind of emotional state are you in when you're eating food? So if you're stressed out or if you're going out to lunch and just bitching about your life, that is not going to be helpful on your health. So all this week, just get familiar with how stress is affecting you and what the top triggers are and then ways that you can really reduce that. Stress, 99% of all illnesses are related to stress. So this is important that you look at it, you pay attention, you have a healthy relationship, a conscious relationship to stress and start to make good choices to help that stress lessen. If you need more help with that, that's seriously a ton of what I do with my private coaching clients. So tap into lizziegler.com if you need more additional coaching on that. But I hope this week you can really take a look at your relationship to stress and see if you can't have a little bit healthier uh, edge on that by next week, okay? Take a beautiful deep breath in and exhale, let it out. And I leave you with that. See you right here next time on Liz TV.